Cooking up a feast in the van tonight Come dine with me and have a bite Quick uh, 20 minutes in the van and I'm walking over to uh, Chris's over there where he's going to start on the main Get me exercise me. viewers I've got the camera on now Chris Now it's your right. turn Well Mooney disappeared over to her van to uh, produce something scary, which amazingly I've survived so far. Um, and in her absence, I've chopped up a an onion here, not not brilliantly. So the plan is, and it may not be a particularly good one, because this is an English bloke trying to cook Indian stuff for someone who's half Indian. So <laughs> possibly not the brightest idea that I've ever had. However, so. I'm going, one of the crazy ideas is to try and make onion bargies. Now I've made them before, um, but not for a while. So what I've got here is chapati flour from my local uh, corner shop, actually. I rang them up and said, have you got any chapati flour? They went, yeah, we've got 50 kilogram bags of it. How much do you want? I said, well, a nice Indian lady's about telling me how to make chapatis later on. Um, they said, well, we'll send you 50, sell you 50 P's worth. So that's what I've got in here. Oh, that's not bad for 50 P you got there. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so I've got 50 P's worth of chapati flour. So the plan is that um, I'm going to use this also to make some onion bargies. So here goes. Uh, Chris, can I just uh, call you out on something? Please do. Right, onion bargies are made of besan, which is corn flour. Right. Not not chapati flour. Yeah. Well, this is this is. Oh, this is a different style of. A, an Englishman's style of. Chapati. You ha you have tried this out before, yeah. I have tried this out before, and, and it's it turned was out all right. A blistering success. However, okay, so the first for me then. <laughs> however, it may not be quite so much of a blistering I, success. I'm looking forward to now this. That, now that I've been armed with uh, Mooney's pearls of wisdom. I can say you've just mixed the flour, which is chapati flour. Yeah, chapati flour. All we've got here, viewers, is chapati flour and a bit of water. Okay. That's so far. All right, and this is how his drawers are working for yeah, him and his uh, nice camp. We won't worry too much about <laughs> that. Motorhome, I should say. And that's what? We're, back, we're whacking in a bit of... Um, curry powder. Curry powder. Okay. Okay, so all we've got in here is chapati flour. All we're making is a batter, basically. That's all it is. Couldn't be. Oh, I can smell it already. Any simpler. Oh, that's that. a good curry powder. Tesco's brand. Tesco's. Bloody well, I can smell it from over here. Medium curry powder. That's all we got in there. So I'm just going to glue these bits of. This is going to be so interesting. <laughs> so what I ought to have done, if I thought ahead, viewers, is heat, um, heat the poxy oil up. Yeah, so yeah, a good idea. We'll have a go at that. Oh, and you've got lights going yeah, on? Yeah, we've even got lights in here. Bloody so. hell. I've got lights in my van as well, but I didn't bother putting them on. So that's looking quite nice and, um, yep. So what do we think? Is it going to work? I don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I could just, I could just imagine the flavour, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, okay. just I'm now slightly, slightly concerned that you I, should might have, be. I might have used the wrong flour because <laughs> the expert here has told me that this is not the appropriate uh, stuff. Hey ho. Okay, never right. mind. So we might want to pause briefly while the oil warms up okay. and then the embarrassment will continue shortly. Here on his uh, driver's seat watching Chris cook. Right, you ready for it then? Okay, we're about to go for it now. Go. Viewers. I've got a feeling this is um, going to go horribly wrong. No, be confident. However, you'll be all right. We'll give it a go. What could possibly go wrong? In it goes. This is an Englishman's take on onion barges using completely the wrong flour, according to Mooney. But anyway, <laughs> there you go. You've got a nice bit of heat coming up on your hob, haven't you? Better than mine. Oh, looks good. I only want one. <laughs> you'll only need one. <laughs> then you'll know. You'll know not to come dining in here again. There we go. 
You got another one in there? Oh yes. You've got enough room in your pan. Oh yes. Come what on. else you got in there? I'm just being nosy. All manner of stuff. Okay. All manner of crap. Smells good. Yum yum. Smells can be deceptive, viewers. No, it's no, no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> You see, I smell good as well, but you know, as I say, oh, smells can be deceptive. Right, there's another, there's another onion budgie in here. That I think we can get that on the yeah. go. Yeah. There we go. Drop that in. Makes a change me being on the other end of the camera. You know, I'm quite enjoying this. Just so you can hear my voice. It's smelling good, isn't it? Yeah, we haven't got smelly vision, unfortunately, in here, but. Um... Yeah. Smell that curry powder. Personally, I think I probably could have put a bit more curry powder in, but. I reckon you put about two teaspoons in there. Yum yum. Well, they've been cooking for about, I'd say about Ooh, ten minutes. Oh, they're looking nice and brown. I flipped them over, and I would say we're about ready. So, what you see in there? That's one small onion that I chopped up, and cranked in there. So, okay. we'll see. Where so, do you keep your kitchen towels? A little. I <laughs> oh, see. I'm interested in all this kind in of the, stuff. In the kitchen towel department. All oh, right. Okay. You saw it up there. I thought you might have a little yeah. roll coming There's out. One up, unfortunately, because I'm a short ass, I can barely reach. Uh, why got, don't you attach something over here there. somewhere so that you can get yeah, a constant stream? Yeah, and then it'll fall off there. And oh, that's true. Fire, which is didn't think why about it's that. It's not there. So hey ho. Right. So we got. We did. We've made four experimental onion barges using entirely the wrong flour apparently according to the expert here however we'll just let them cool a little bit and then uh mooney's scared the crap out of me round hers earlier with um some strange fish finger thing so uh there we go, <laughs> there we go. i don't know what to what call do them what do we they, they look good they look like how they should <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they'll taste they like. They look like how they should, but it's whether they taste like how well, they Well, we'll give should. it a taster. Chris to open his fridge up because light is... Uh, pro and he's got ice. I've also got ice. Uh, this is all new to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, yeah, when you're... Go on, tell a story. Well, picture the scene, viewers. It's pitch dark and uh, you're a gentleman of a certain age and it's the middle of the night and you think, could do with a whittle. Um, there's a big switch up here. When I throw it, we get some little blue lights on the floor. Wow! In daylight, aren't that bright? But at night time, and you got an arrow that points you into to the, the toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're going to try the. Uh, I don't know what to name them. <laughs> Chris's creation. Chris's attempt at onion barges oh. using entirely the wrong ingredients. Right, this is made of. Um, wheat flour and it's meant to be made of um chickpea flour there it goes in one well it's not unpleasant no that's the right word <laughs> <laughs> but it's not entirely an onion bargy it has a lot of the main no it hasn't it's got some of the onion bargy ingredients like onions, but it's slightly lacking in the bargy department. When you get to the crispy bit, it's quite nice. <laughs> and when you get to the onion, that's nice, but... The rest of it is not so nice. And then you get the aftertaste, which is pretty good. But no, it's not an onion bargy. I think what it could do is... <laughs> a bit more salt. A lot more. It could have done with salt and it could have done with a lot more curry powder. Because what, basically what we've got here is fried onions stuck together with um, something. They're actually not too bad, Chris, to be honest <laughs> with you. You can They're have that large boring. one there. Can you just um, cut that up in half? We'll have half of that each. <laughs> He's got to cook the main yet. <laughs> actually, no, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. A bit more bad. salt. I think that yeah. would have brought the flavours out a bit more. Salt would have helped, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. There we go. That's hey ho. Good. But you know, oh, I like that one. Mm. but no, don't try it with um, rotty flour if you're going to make onion bar. Just get the ground flour. That's the correct one. Mm. 
such a numpty. I'm sat here viewing outside thinking, oh, Chris has parked in the ideal spot. And look where I parked Flair, right behind a hedge. <laughs> and I'm sat here looking at it. <gasps> However, Mooney got a good deal. She only paid 10 quid. And uh, I've been mugged for £21.50. So there you go. <laughs>